this actually might be one of the nicest pieces of furniture I've ever found at home goods um definitely furniture jackpot right now this is where you'll find the hidden gems oh my god look at all this very done <gasps> This is one of the books I've been looking for. Hello everyone, what is up? And welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, hi, my name is Katie. I live in Orlando. I make all shopping and shopping me videos, home decor and DIY home decorating videos. I love shopping at all my favorite stores like Home Goods, Target, TJ Maxx, Kirkland's, World Market, Joann's. If they sell home decor, I've probably made several videos there. I just love shopping around all my favorite stores and all your favorite stores to show you what is new, what you can potentially find at a store near you, sales and clearance deals I think you may be interested in, and tons and tons of seasonal decor. So if you love Target, home goods, DIY home decorating, budget friendly, things like that, you'll definitely love it here. So please be sure to give the video a big thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button down below so you don't miss all of my future videos, including my guest bedroom makeover, which is going live tomorrow if you're watching this the day the video comes out which is so exciting um i'll try to remember to like come back here and put that link so if you're interested in seeing my guest bedroom makeover and you're not watching this like the day that it came out definitely check the description down below so you can see that i totally transformed the room i'm painting i'm decorating building furniture so get excited for that you can watch that right after this video but today we're shopping at home goods i'm starting to think about my future room transformations and what i will need for that because at home goods i feel like you find things when you're not looking for them we're gonna talk about that a little bit later but i want to look at a bunch of furniture there's so many things that i am still looking for so hopefully we have a good home goods hunting day it's just so hit or miss but it's just one of the best stores ever target is the best sorry home goods but i love you too but if you love home goods shopping all around the store and you just are interested in seeing what is new in store right now and what you could potentially find at a store near you then just keep watching because we're gonna head inside right now it's like doom and gloom about to rain. So trying to get into the store. Oh God, I just felt a raindrop. Okay, I always like to follow the natural progression of the store and I see some really incredible furniture. So that's what we're gonna take a look at first and then kind of make our way through the rest of the store. I wanna look at home accents and then I need to look for something in the bathroom section. So we're just gonna be all over the store and see what we can find. I'm starting to shop for our living room refresh. So I don't know if it's like a makeover. We are getting a lot of new furniture for it and completely redecorating it. So I guess it's to make over so I'm starting to shop for that because like, kind of like the downstairs where I'm making my way into so like kitchen breakfast nook area and living room are like my next focuses then we're gonna do the dining room the loft Brian's office so so many room makeovers to come um, we're off to a good start with furniture today because look at these bar stools I am obsessed. This is a made in Indonesia item. I love the color that it's not like too warm because I still want to do a lot of wood tones, but they need to be more neutral or on the cool side without being like gray, if that makes sense. This has a really big seat as well, and I like how the back is like a little bit low. I also like the detailing, like the cross weave on the top. I freaking love these how much are they 150 a piece and i think we would need three they are bigger than our old bar stool so i feel like they'd fit really well oh my gosh i really like these here's what all four of them look like together i think they're just like a little bit like too boho beachy for like what i'm going for we're on the right track and these are really cool whoever gets these like great find at home goods but i don't know i think they're like a little bit too like boho for what I'm going for. Here it is in white as well. So they have a white option. This one's on clearance though. Might be like the last one left. I like it in white. I think I like it in the brown better, but white's nice too. A lot of different stool options. I haven't even made it very far into the store and there's already so many good options. This is super nice, way too gray for what we're going for. And I'm not like the biggest fan of the wishbone shape, but I do love the woven seat for sure on this one. And this one's 179. It's like solid teak wood, which is super good quality um this is so nice this literally just stopped me in my tracks this actually might be one of the nicest pieces of furniture i've ever found at home goods it just says that it's a display case it's a thousand dollars and it is handcrafted in mexico i love the big circle detail and like the long black hardware or it's more of like a brushed bronze but I just love it. It's like solid, solid wood, more of like a whitewash, but not in like a rustic way, like in a really nice, like transitional way. Oh my God, that just makes it so much more modern. I'm obsessed with this. I would love to get this for Brian's office. I feel like it would look so 
nice. I'm really just obsessed with this hardware. I actually just ordered new hardware for our house. I'm really excited to do that. I love the molding on the top. This is beautiful. I'm crushing on this piece of furniture. Like, I have a big crush on this. This is so pretty as well. This is handcrafted in India. It's like a desk, almost like entryway table, and then it has like two matching nightstands. So nice. Little like bedroom set. You could put a TV on the other table, like the bigger table, or hang it above and then use those nightstands and have a really nice matching set. The carving is so pretty, and then it has this like dark brass hardware. Love this. Love the tone of the wood too. It's like more of like a reddish deep tone with like beautiful beautiful like graining on the top this is so super nice it doesn't come together each nightstand is 100 and then the bigger table is 200 but you can have the whole set for 400 which is not that bad this chest is so cool i love the black kind of has this like cane detailing to it like black cane and then i love the h so it's like a tommy hilfiger piece and they have that h there which is like the two pieces that open the cabinet but i don't know i just think it looks like so sleek and modern really luxury like to me like i immediately see an h and i just think Hermes. Um, I love the gold legs that it has. Actually, I think it might be silver legs, but this is so sleek and modern. I really like this. is like a super stylish piece of furniture. So many good pieces today. This one is 300. Oh my god. I'm hitting the furniture jackpot today. This is beautiful. So it has that kind of like same like white wash look, but then the doors are like more of a natural wood and it has this beautiful black hardware that goes all the way down. Look at these handles. We need to get like more of a close-up on these how Beautiful are these so these are made in Mexico as well So it's from that same collection. This one's also a thousand dollars. The hardware goes all the way down. This is huge Absolutely huge again beautiful for like an office or maybe like a formal living room or if you have a living room That has like a lot of space. It's super super nice. Yeah, the employee from home goods just says he loves it, too This is beautiful. Oh my gosh. I can't get over this. I really can't like I'm just sitting here staring at it It's so Beautiful. I think maybe I wish I could like combine the two but if I like had to pick one I don't even know which one I would get. I love the other one. Ooh, I see a little bit of damage on this one So this is like broken right here. I do think you could like glue it You could definitely get a discount on this piece because of that So definitely something to consider you could definitely ask for a discount since it's damaged right there. Oh My gosh, I like want it. I can't get over the hardware it's so pretty. I love how it goes all the way from the top to the bottom. Stunning. This like chest of drawers is also from that Made in Mexico collection. This one is 200. Really good sized like nightstand. You could use this as a nightstand for like a king size bed. I love the round feet and like the detailing on the drawers. And if you don't like the rustic white look, you could totally paint this like any color like black or you could paint it a solid white, a cream, like whatever works with your decor. And this is 200. I wonder if they have like another one around here because what a beautiful set. Here is that end table, but with a wooden top, like a, just a stained top. So this is kind of what that looks like. It's like the exact same thing. Thing. This one just has a wood stained top instead of being fully white. Same price though, 200. This one's super nice too. A lot more like transitional, more rustic for sure, but again, you could paint it. They're literally busting with so much furniture that they have these benches over in like the kitchen and dining section, which they literally never have. So they are bursting with new furniture today. Cutie, this is a piece of furniture they had before, like a couple months ago. I found this at another Home Goods. This is 350. So nice to see them bringing stuff like this back because it was super popular popular again made an in indonesia item super good rattan color i always say it wrong i don't know if it's rattan rattan don't correct me down below because i'm just gonna keep saying it wrong but this is a popular piece i'm glad to see them bringing it back it's a great color it's not too warm not too cool super neutral color um definitely furniture jackpot right now home goods is just obviously so hit or miss i feel like you have a much better shopping experience if you're not looking for something specifically because i always find things when i'm not looking for them and i never find what i'm looking for but I still keep coming back. I just love home goods. What can I say? <gasps> this is one of the books I've been looking for. <laughs> I need to get this off this right now. I'm buying that for sure. Oh my gosh. It's 50 bucks. It's huge. It's beautiful. It's still in the wrapping, so it's like pristine condition. Now I need to see if they have the other one. Oh my gosh. Now I have to search around and see if they have the other book I've been looking for. The Architectural Digest book. 
because I feel like if they got this one, I feel like they got a whole shipment of books and maybe they got that one, I'll literally die. I will die. Here is Scandi Rustic. I got this a couple weeks ago, great book. There's a lot of books stuck everywhere, so I really need to dig because there's like a bunch of books in here and then like all mixed into these aisles. I'm just searching and searching, but I don't see it. The day I finally find that book, I'm literally gonna like scream, cry, and throw up because I've been looking for it forever. Imagine looking for the same item like multiple times a week for like months. So hopefully I can find it soon. It's definitely gonna be worth the hunt. I don't wanna buy it online. I wanna get it here because it's so much cheaper. So yeah, just gonna keep on hunting for that. But I did find some other cool home accents over here. So I wanna show you some cool stuff. Look at this giant wooden knot. It's huge. Look at it like compared to my hand. Like my hand's holding one. It's absolutely massive. It's $35. I hate how they wrote on it, but it's just with like a wax um, pencil. So you can just wipe it off. But I think it's like not cool that they like wrote directly on it. But it's beautiful. It would look so nice like in one of those bookshelves that we looked at earlier. Oh my gosh, so pretty. There's a lot of really, really pretty wall baskets if you are looking to do like a basket wall. They have a lot of different colors too. Like this blue one is really pretty. They also have this one with like pink and green. Really cute for like a kid's playroom or something if you're trying to do um, colors in there or if you like to do colors in your normal decor. These are beautiful. They have so many. I also love this tray because it has like the woven elements and then it has that seashell material. Oh my God, it begins with a C. I can never think of it. I think it's called like capiz or something. I don't freaking know. But it has that on the bottom, which is just like so delicate and girly and dainty and just makes this so pretty and really softens up like the boho-ness of it. Or maybe it adds to it because it's in like a daisy pattern. I don't know. But I think this is so nice. This is only $25. Super adorable little tray. Would be so cute for like a coffee table or maybe like an entryway table or just like on a dining table. You could put like salt and pepper shakers, napkins on here. I don't know. Just a really cute base. I feel like you could do a lot with that. Yet again, leave it to Florida to have like copious amounts of coastal decor. We have so many like coral figurines, all that kind of stuff. But you can find some other awesome stuff mixed into here that works for like other decor types besides for coastal. This is really nice, nice like candle holder, sort of like hurricane glass. They also have these really nice um, like gold bowls and stuff. So you have to dig around in all the sections, not the ones that just like speak to you right off the bat because this is where you'll find the hidden gems. Brian wanted me to look for a wooden bathroom stool. He sent me a picture of one he liked and I've definitely seen them here before. These are the first ones I found, but I don't know if they can actually get wet. So I'm gonna keep looking, but here's like a bunch right here, but he wants one specifically to go in the shower. Here's another one. This one's like a triangle shape. So let's kind of take a peek. This one's cool too, because it also has this like storage down here. Made in Vietnam, 60 bucks. But like, I don't know if it's like waterproof, you know? I told him that he needed to specifically send me a picture of like what he was looking for. And the one he sent me, I know I've seen here, but you know how I just mentioned like never finding what you're actually looking for. Plus like these don't specifically say that they're like water resistant or like okay to be in water. So like the ones here are like half the price. Okay, here's another one. This one is like really similar to the one that he sent me. Handcrafted in India. This one has these like furniture floor protectors, which makes me think that it definitely shouldn't go into the water. Ugh. Might just have to like spend the money to get the one on Amazon that specifically says it's water resistant. Oh my gosh, I just love all the employees at the stores that I like regularly shop at. So Amy over in the bath section, she was like, are you looking for one for the shower? She said that they do get them all the time and told me exactly what to look for, like what tag to look for. She said they sell really fast though. Um, but she said if I just start calling, like when they're getting trucks and stuff, she can just let me know if they got one, which is awesome. So I'm just gonna keep hunting for one. Like I said, you have to like stop looking for something in order to find it, so. I'm like secretly still looking for one. Did you hear that, Home Goods Gods? <laughs> I need one. But yeah, they're a lot cheaper here. She said they're like 50 here. And then like Amazon and stuff, it's like 100, 120. Same with um, Bed Bath & Beyond. So I definitely want to find one here. And everyone here is so helpful. I love it.
Oh my gosh, if you watch my home goods videos, you will have seen this a couple times. It hasn't moved from right here, so definitely probably hasn't sustained like any damage. Well, actually, it looks like someone hit it with a cart because like carts come from right here. They marked this down to 349 from 500. Oh my gosh. I'm so tempted. So, so, so tempted. Look at what they're putting out. The Little Mermaid Ray Dunn. So they have these mermaid at heart, and then it has Ariel and Flounder on the back. So cute. And then the other one they have is this Little Mermaid mug that has Ariel on the back again with Flounder. Cute, this one's pink on the inside, the other one's blue on the inside. I just grabbed one and walked away so I could just show you guys. But yeah, these are so cute, part of the Disney collection. Oh my God, look at all this Ray Dunn. This is all of the 4th of July Ray Dunn. It says like USA, Happy 4th. These ice cream bowls with the stars. Oh, this one's cute. It's like a, almost like one of those camping mugs, like the speckles on it. it. says stars and stripes. The America mug, veteran. These are adorable. I just like love themed things. Home of the brave. How cute. You can't tell me it's not for the fourth because there's literally a mug that says happy fourth. They also have tons of like Mother's Day and Father's Day displays with like lots of gift ideas. So if you're struggling to figure out what you want to get for a gift or if you need something and you're kind of running out of time, definitely check your home goods. They have, like I said, a lot of different displays set up with really, really fun gift ideas. For Father's Day, I saw like um, these like whiskey glasses that had a place where you could like store a cigar, which I just think is like such a fun gift um, and then lots of other stuff for like both holidays I'm not really gonna be showing that stuff which I touched on in my Target Tuesday and why and all that but they do have that if you're looking for it and you need a gift like in a pinch like if you don't want to order online definitely check here this outdoor table is sold and it's stunning it's Nautica but it's um, already sold somebody else does have a room for like an umbrella I love the black rope on the chairs that's actually super comfy like a really comfy chair style as well I love the color of the wood. This is beautiful. It's seriously furniture jackpot day here and I'm into it. I've been sending Brian a bunch of pictures and he even said, he's like, oh my God, what a great day at Home Goods. Truly, need to match those sentiments. What a great day at Home Goods. Um, but yeah, that is a bunch of stuff that they have at Home Goods today. I was gonna get a couple things like I love getting my coffee beans here, like random things like that. And I wanted to get that Vanity Fair book, but the line here is so long and I just don't have the emotional energy to give to waiting in line for 45 minutes. So that's okay. It's a good way to decide if you like actually wanna buy something, but the line here is crazy and I just like don't have the emotional energy for that. Now, if I had found the Architectural Digest book, 100%, 100 million thousand percent, but it's okay. It's okay. I don't need it. I don't need that book even though I want that Vanity Fair book, but I just can't. So, got to protect my peace. <laughs> well, alrighty, you guys. That is going to be it for me. I really hope that you enjoyed today's Home Goods shop with me. Please be sure to give the video a thumbs up before you go if you haven't yet. It really helps out my channel and helps other people to find my videos. Be sure to hit the subscribe button down below so you don't miss all of my future videos, my Target shop with me's, Home Goods shop with me's, so many different stores and room makeovers. If you love videos like that, you're definitely going to want to make sure you hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so YouTube can notify you every single time I post a new video. Please be sure to let me know down below what was your favorite item I showed in today's video. Mine was definitely those two cabinets those were beautiful like absolutely stunningly beautiful if I had a place where like I knew I would want to put those right now I would have bought probably one of them because oh my god they were so nice but definitely let me know what was your favorite find that I discovered today but that is gonna be it for me I love you all so so much and I'll see you next time bye guys